Okay, I start going through the campaign now, but Crazy Dave says, the zombies don't keep coming. This time around, I want to pick some seeds for you. I choose these three. So Green is decided to teach them one the zombies of mustaches. Brilliant. But at the start of a level now, well, welcome back to more plants for zombies. Previously, we cleared everything apart from the second play for the campaign, which I'm going to go through now. First thing of note is that this is what Crazy Dave does now. He picks three plants for you to start the stage off with. So you can end up with horrible luck. But honestly, I was just going through it off screen and this happens. So I want to show that off. And I'll see you guys when I go over everything else. Okay, I figured I may as well show this. Going for the achievement to use only mushrooms during the daytime level. It kind of starts out slow, if I'm being honest. Basically, I had to keep planting regular mushrooms and wait until I was able to get a thing. Wait until I was able to get an actual... Like, it was all down to luck. I'm not going to lie. I had to get really lucky with the zombie in the first lane. I had a mushroom up here and the zombie was running straight towards it. So I was able to plant the uh, stuff in time and I was uh, used a coffee bean and from there you saw just work your way up. Since you're trying to buy as much time as possible so you can actually get a coffee bean plant. It's super slow and super tedious. I recommend just doing it on any of the first stages really. But once you start getting these regular mushrooms, like the sun shrooms, then they're fine, you know? But you're playing offensive first and then you're working on building up more sun. That's basically what you're doing and it's not that bad. It's just obviously this has been a lot easier with any other plant other than mushrooms. Heck, they should ask you to use fume shrooms for, fume shrooms for only a single stage. That's a way to torture people. Yeah, it's not that bad really, but at the end of this wave, it's pretty simple. Like, even if they were somehow able to get for all of this, like if they sent a Colossus this way, it would die. The tough version of this would be to clear a roof level with no catapults. Now that's a tricky one. That one I have no idea what I'm going to do. I know it's going to be using squashes early, but past that, I have no idea. Because you're not even allowed to use the kernels, so I can't just go for a kernel cannon. <laughs> I never woke this guy up. Look at him. Wake up. <laughs> You've been asleep for two days. <laughs> That's not too bad, and that was level 1 too. I literally just got past the first stage and decided to try this. And there's an achievement for good morning. And we also have mustache mode. Mustache mode was already enabled. And I cleared the first stage. What? Yeah, but that's another achievement unlocked. The next one will be getting the Golden Sun Plant Trophy just to play for the campaign again. And of course, Better off dead by zombie in China shop, off when I plan stuff like that. The toughest one would be clear roof level, and it's also complete at nighttime level without using without planting any mushrooms. That one won't be too bad. I already know how to do that, but I'll once again see you guys when I get the next achievement. And I'm back. As you guys can see, I have 7,850 sun, working my way up to 8,000 for the achievement and want to show. There we go, sunny day achievement unlocked. Just want to show that on level 1-7, basically the best way to do is to get a triple wave. That would just go to survival. It's on survival, you can just try and get a good setup. But now we got 8,000 sun, we might as well use it, why not? Get a piece of shit about. And that, move that, get this. Which I just recommend getting a free column of sunflowers. Try and double them up if you can, and that's the best way I found personally. Of course, I already went through the walnut bowling. It has more defend, like, 
more tanky zombies, like the ones with the buckets and cones on their heads, but other than that, it hasn't been that different. But I'll see you guys for other achievements. I wanted to show the end of this level. This is what Overkill looks like, by the way. In Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> Just this. This is Overkill. I can go further than this. Like, I can have um, snow peas up here and torchwoods back there, but I've got gallon peas everywhere. But even have snow peas. Protecting them. <laughs> Plus the garlic. What else can I say about the garlic? I guess there's no way to be a jerk. That's not it though. You can set um set a triangle formation of garlic. Like that. And if they bite that garlic, they're gonna go down here or up there, then if they bite either of those, they go to another lane. <laughs> it's, it's it's so much for them to deal with. Only Gargantua's gonna get through this. Gargantua's gonna be distracted most of the time. There's no achievement for this, but it's just something fun I wanted to show. Because that's just insane. But I'll see you guys once again in the nighttime level where I try and get the achievement for knives and mushrooms. During night. Okay, I'm the final wave, and you guys can see I haven't used any mushrooms. I had the option to, but I'm trying to go for the achievement for the nighttime stage. That's simply all this is. May as well just finish off the last tour. Basically, doing an item level without any mushrooms is kind of luck based. You need to give the zombies a little bit of leeway though. Like at the beginning, you could just get a spot mine or you could try and get an extra sunflower. You're fine, kind of, either way, but I prefer a stack of sunflower. But there's the achievement for no fungus among us earned. Play a nighttime level without without planting mushrooms, which is brilliant. And I'm just going to go to the main menu. And once again, I'll see you guys at a later point when I focus on another achievement. And we are back once again while playing for the campaign. I got thirty thousand coin and bought the double ganner. I was able to go these two plants all the way up. And I can't be just when I need so we have a new achievement. Oh jeez, if I could find it. Oh yeah, I was buying every single plant. So what a culturist. But may as well showcase the final plant in the game. So, where is it? So, I was down here at the bottom right. So, what you want to do is we're going to take a sunflower. Did you click it? You get to pick any plant you want. And here's the exact same way. So, now I have two sunflowers for this level. You can even have two lily pads, for example. Stuff like that. Actually, that wouldn't be. A, actually, what? What did I make sure today? We'll give that a try. See what it's like. Oh, it's recharging. Why is it recharging? Basically, it allows you to use a plant without having to wait for its cooldown. As you can guess, it's a fantastic item. It even gets the plant's same cooldown. It'll generate sun and do all that jazz for you. So I just realized how bad of a mistake I made. Yeah, it's restarted at all. <laughs> That's great. I didn't have any plants at all that would help me early game. So, remedy that. I want to try something different for the stage, but I guess not. 
You guys do that? I'm gonna attack him plus uh, a mushroom that might not even wake up. And I think it cost 300 sun. This is gonna be great. Like, just fantastic. But these doppelganger plants are really good. I like them based on just how they behave. I prefer to just have them as sunflowers though. It's just a strategy I have. They take a little bit longer to produce sun, for example. But to me, that's honestly fine. Unless you get all the sunflowers you want out quicker. So then you build up your information super quick and it's brilliant. In fact, they can copy any plant in the game. You can use it for all the pizzas, for example. You can use it on all the good plants. Just don't ever waste it on a thing. Okay, yeah, that mushroom just sleep during the day. So, instead of that mushroom, let's go with cattails for this. Honestly, though, I'm going to speed up for this. Because you guys just, I just want to show off. To upgrade, I don't need to show anything else. So, I'm going to speed this bit up. I'll see you guys in... Well, actually I'm going to skip past this, you guys see how the plant works. So I'm going to show you guys the next thing, which should be the Yeti. Okay, <laughs> I just cleared that level. And while going through, I realized I didn't use any pieces, so I got the achievement value even trying. But I want to show another power of the Imitator. So... We've already got some flowers. We're gonna make it a sunflower as well. We're gonna take this. And let us see. Let's go with free Peter. Let's have an ad. Get some action going. And what I want to showcase will take a little bit, but it's best just to show it. Because I know someone's gonna say it. But it said when you use the imitator you can choose the upgrade on it as far as i remember so you can upgrade the imitator to just do what the upgrade plant does you can make it an upgrade i don't think in fact i'm about 90 percent sure i do not have a thing don't have a spud ah. <laughs> the spud And then get the upgrade. We don't have anything much to defend the water, but that's fine. Now, I will try to get the knife upgrade slot, but don't expect me to get the knife upgrade slot. That's pretty much only reliant on getting more Zen Garden plants, and I've been really unlucky with that. Unfortunately, maybe unlucky in this series. Like, who would have thought? But once you get enough sun, you can upgrade the imitator. And that's the best thing about them. Like, they are brilliant in survival. Because you can get your sunflowers out a lot earlier. And if you get them out a lot earlier, they get, to do, they get to produce more sun so you can get more powerful plants. Because of this, it makes it really easy to get the corn. Like, the corn upgrade. But, again, I don't see a reason to ever use the corn upgrade. So the personal opinion man, I think it's not worth the amount that they charge. Get that going. Place that and that. In fact... No. Actually, wait till later before I do that. But as you can see, we just upgrade the imitator to a double sunflower. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know why they allow you to do that, but they do. Can I complain about it? No, it makes them even more overpowered. And because there's like three pillars I can actually recommend if you use the imitators, they're very good if you have imitators because you can get them out super early. Would I still recommend using them? No, I still recommend using Gatlin Peas because they're even quicker to get now. <laughs> you guys have seen how much rain has been going on, like just for cooldown and stuff like that, and now it's entirely different. Okay, 
Now, the imitator, I typically only use exclusively for the sunflowers. Oh. I just saw that. Is that good? Please grow. No. I played a bit horribly there, I'm going to be honest, I played really bad. But luckily, build up your information isn't that bad. Usually, it'd be super tedious. But all you gotta do is just imitate it and suddenly your information is back in place and you're ready to just kill some more zombies. It's absolutely fantastic and the imitators are, like, if it wasn't, like if I had to compare it as a plant, it's top of the charts, you know? If I was making the tier list, it'd be at the top, just because of how it works. Like, it just lets you speed up the process, because this game is quite slow. It just makes it quicker. Of course, zombies just come and go as they please. But, that still works. But now to showcase that, I'll actually just cut ahead to the Yeti, because the specific stage is supposed to appear on. So, I'll see you guys then. And we are back. I just got the World 4. There will be something I will show in this world, but we have 20,000, so nice loss. Of course, there is a 10 slot. And I'm also going to, by the way, to show that off if I'm able to look back at the fan, which I'm not going to be able to apparently. Well, for this nighttime stage, plans are pretty simple. But with the knife slide, you can see it works wonders because now you can take a repeater if you need it. But I'll be back once I find the Eddie. We are back. This is the same way we've seen before, but we're on this level again, the Thunder one. I get dark all of a sudden, it's kind of good. I've had to search now. Apparently, this level, there's the Eddie zombie. This level you always see the Yeti zombie. We have to see it or kill it. One of the two. Now of course it's the same as before. We're just hoping for good luck, which I've got two sea shrooms already. That ain't good because we don't need sea shrooms. Um, it's not even attacking the thing. There we go. As you can see our luck isn't being that good to us today. There's two zombies. Need this there. That's the magical, but that's fine. I'll deal with it. But we're dealing with the usual sort of stuff and we need to make sure we see the zombie. I think we may have to click on it. I don't know. It's been forever since I've actually fought the Eddie zombie. Oh come on. There we go. And we're just gonna keep that. The staff is doing such a bad job. Why is it doing such a terrible job? It shouldn't be doing this badly. I remember being somewhat decent, but it's actually really bad. It's well his zombies next and we only hit him with the diagonal. That's the issue. Hopefully we can do this. Obviously it's still down to luck and it always will be down to luck. Unfortunately that's just how the game works. And the main goal is to get the Yeti zombie. So if I have to I will restart but the reason I'm showing this off is well because why not.
Well, I wanted to show off the achievement anyways because I'm going for the campaign. I have you have to anyways to get a golden trophy. Because it's for Crazy Dave's challenge where you get randomized plants now, which it can hurt you, but it also doesn't have to. As a challenge is a bit of a double edged sword, you either love it or you hate it. Sometimes you get really lucky and you start off with a thing. You start off with like a sunflower or, or you know, something really good. Or you could just be really unlucky and get stuff like coffee beans from the beginning, which I had in one of the previous stages, and I could use mushrooms, but I didn't. But luckily we're doing good now. The enemy zombie, if I remember correctly, is actually a weight boss in this game. It's the toughest thing you could face. We need that there, because this room has to be covered in some sort of way. Just keep an eye out in case you see the A on because on this stage you can just kill him. I think it says you're meant to see him, but you can end up killing him. Uh, great music box zombie, where is it? It's up there. Now we don't need to blow over. Not the moment. It might just be a pain during the final wave though, like the A zombie. Give it this. Get that placed. And you know what, we'll just use a blower anyways, just in case we need it. Uh, get that place, then that. Uh, oh, Quintus Arbalist. We see it. Oh, there he is. The Yeti Zombie, the legend itself. The thing that gives you a load of diamonds. Just a load. And it's brilliant. Right, use that. But now we got the Yeti Zombie, so now we have that. I'm actually going to cut ahead to something else I'm going to show. Actually, that might be the end of the episode. You know what? Let's continue this and just show what happens on this version of the stage because as you can see, horrible luck as usual. But we'll keep going. Keep the fight to them. Hit that guy. I think he's dead. I need to see if we have a character anywhere, which we do. So we're good on that part. We'll get that. And we're on the second wave. And we are being bombarded right now. We got what we came here to get. I'm just going to use a blower because we're not going to need them. We have that many cactuses that the blowers are just going to end up wasting a slot. This side is in trouble. Come on. Let's see. Lily pad, which we just going to use as a meat shield for now because why use it for anything else? And then either way at the pumpkin, get a star fruit. Looks like we're going to be fine. I can almost see us taking a nap. Well, there was a guy back here, but I was just a regular digger, the old miner. As long as you get to the final wave, no issue, then we're fine. Now, of course, this is actually a tougher version of Honor Boy on that. I've been a little bit tougher. To get the sort of challenge mode difficulty, I guess you could call it. I won't say it's exactly a challenge mode, but it's a bit close to that. 
but we've gone through them all with pretty much no issue. I think the only one I may have trouble with was the water button, and I didn't lose on that, I don't think. Don't remember. Like, literally, this is recorded the day after a couple, like, when you guys see this video, I would have had two days worth of recording. Almost. <laughs> Get that. Now we're dealing with the final wave, which we might see another Yeti zombie to be honest. That wouldn't be too bad, because extra money. And another plan for the Zen Garden. Can't complain about that. But we won this. They could get through this entire setup. And it wouldn't hurt us in the slightest. Get a pumpkin there. Oh, can't place a pumpkin. There we go. An easy clear, and we're now on the final world. Which, the only thing I'm going to show from here is the boss fight because, well, you guys have seen it before. However, it is an achievement to not use any catapults, so that's going to be a bit of a tricky one. But enough of that, I'll be going for this one, and if I get the achievement, I'll show you guys. But first, Zen Garden. Zen Garden time! Um, nothing there. But I'm obviously going to end the episode here, and I'll see you guys in... Well, I'm not ending the episode here, per se, I'm just vain. Actually, yeah, this will be the end of the episode. In the next one, we're going to get the golden trophy, and I'll get the achievements that I have to. Like, obviously, I'm in the tree of wisdom. I'll see you guys then. Oh, double thing going. First of all, this. On World 5-1. I'm adding this to the end of the episode, by the way. Episode, well, not episode. World 5-1, this is the setup I'm using to now use catapults. Simply put, it was just getting a bunch of sunflowers super early. But it works. Essentially, you need to just not use a single of the catapults. Pichu is doing a fine enough job if you get him onto where the snow peas are. Because he will hit stuff. There's a line here. Just back behind him isn't going to do anything. Oh, well, that's rude. And do that. Uh, but there we go. No achievement grounded. To fear no more with level values any zombies. Without any Incredible plans. So I'll see you guys in the next episode where I show off the final boss or anything that, you know, is miscellaneous.